yet. There we are. Okay, great. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's March 10th, 2023. It's 9.03 on a Friday morning. Um, uh, this is a uh, meeting of the Western Board of Education uh, Finance uh, Committee. Um, the first uh, item on the agenda is to approve the minutes from our last meeting. Are there any um, changes or comments to it? No, I don't have any. Peter? I don't know if you're on mute, Peter, or not. You are on mute. No changes. I'm, I'm okay. And now you can hear me. Great. Can we have a motion to approve? I move to approve the minutes from the February Finance Committee meeting. Great. Second? Peter? Second. Aye. 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 Uh, the third item on the agenda is a discussion of policies, regulations, and bylaws. Is someone going to lead this? Is Steve, I no, I think you're on the wrong agenda. Am I on the wrong agenda? Oh, I am on the wrong agenda. Sorry. Apologies. Um, no, that's okay. The, the first is the update on facilities and grounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm looking at that's okay. the wrong one. Do we approve? Uh, the, the associated minutes of our last meeting, or did we approve the policy? No, I approved the minutes from so my just... motion was for finance minutes from February. Okay. Yeah. So, Mike, okay. you want to uh, talk about facilities? Sounds good. All right. So, quick update. Um, as you know, from the last meeting, we're going to take over field. So, we've, um, we've already begun getting the fields ready to be used. Um, with the weather we have coming in, it's not really conducive to getting guys, kids on the field. Minus this, uh, minus this weather we had the last week and possibly tomorrow and possibly Tuesday, the fields wouldn't be ready to been, you know, have kids on them. And now we may have a little bit of a setback, but fields are getting ready. We rented a lift, do some uh, some netting work, some fence work, um, hang a couple banners for the uh, for athletics. Um, also, grounds are getting cleaned up. You know, spring cleanup. Not that we really ever had a winter. But um, things are getting straightened out. We have we've been working on the hire for the uh, new groundsman. We've entertained uh, six interviews. We've brought one gentleman in so far to work. Uh, we didn't. We weren't pleased with. We have another one coming in on Monday, weather permitting. And we're pretty confident with the the last round of three interviews that we had that we'll be able to hire from that pool. So that's a uh, that's good news. Um, Couple other things going on. We have um, the sidewalk. Uh, this summer should be getting put in. Quick fiber move from um, one side of School Road to the other, and then it should connect the crosswalk over at the uh, Western Market all the way up to the Intermediate School. So that should be that should be completed this uh, summer. Um, it's out of our hand. Hopefully they can complete the, uh, the project, but it can't be done while um while we have. While well, we have the buildings occupied, it's just too much work and too much of a mess. Uh, we also have our asphalt analysis for our parking lots. Beta Group will be here April 4th through, um, I'm sorry, April 10th through April 14th to do uh, every sidewalk that we have, every parking area. They'll give us that grade we had spoken about in the past couple of meetings. So that'll be good news. We'll have a little bit of, um, a little bit more information moving forward for how we can take care of our asphalt. Um, last, last couple weeks, we had our track company come in, the company that actually gave us the proposals for, uh, the replacement of the track, um, with the, the finance board of finance meeting, I spoke briefly about it. We have the initial plan was to hopefully just resurface the track. Unfortunately, that is not going to be the case. Um, they came out, did their analysis um our cracks and our movements are into the asphalt so it'll it's going to be a complete rebuild which is going to be mill and plane the um, asphalt new asphalt poured down and a new surface um we have prices that are within our budget they gave us three different um 
high standards of the differences of track. So, you know, so we'll have to discuss how we want to move forward, but there certainly is one that's well within our ballpark, one that's a little bit more and one that gets a little bit higher, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Is there anything that we need to be doing to monitor this if we were expecting it to go uh, to be just on the surface level and it ended up being all the way down to the asphalt? I mean, what, what, can well, yeah, when they came in 2019 and did the assessment, it was a, it was a two part thing because I already saw that the, you know, the surface crests were there. So they put in that contingency of doing asphalt. So that was already there in 19. Um, and it, it's, you know, and it's a special type of asphalt uh, subsurface to make everything as flat as it needs to be for a track, which is you know, a quarter mile long in circle. So it's just frost heave. Um, you now what they'll do is when they dig it out to make sure that we don't have any rocks picking up. For the most part, it won't be tree roots. We don't have trees close enough, so they'll they'll do their due diligence before they pour the um before they pour the asphalt, roll it out. But other than the frost heave and things moving, rocks lifting, ledge moving, there's everything has been done the way it should have been done. Everything has been kept maintenance okay. has been done. What they didn't really get like into it, but they're talking you know roughly 15 years you can get out of a track. And we're in New England, so we, you know, we have the four seasons. We're not down yeah. south where we only have, you know, warm weather. So it's it's really conducive to our our surfaces. But we've gotten just about that, you know, where we at 2004, six it was put in. So we're we've we've gotten there. We've, we've met our life. Sure. Not quite. Not quite. Um, they they didn't see any water as being an issue. The wetlands yeah. are probably just ballpark figure a um, couple hundred feet away. So they're not, they don't believe that water is an issue. So we have enough distance from our track to uh, the wetlands. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Uh, other than that, I don't have a, a whole lot to update unless you have some, some questions. I'm good. No, I don't have any questions. We move to Phil. Uh, hello, everyone. So typically, at this time of the year, we we try to we we normally um, review our holes that we have, both in terms of encumbrances and um, also in terms of anticipated holes um, that we have um, for the year. So we've started to start to kind of make some of those uh, adjustments for the year. So month over month, we're relatively flat. However, there has been some movements. Um, we we do anticipate to be um, over budget for our subs, but it's a relative offset with that in terms of um, turnover savings, multiple positions, FMLA, FMLA kind of stuff. But the line itself, um, in that in that bucket of um, expenses, we put that we to be over budget by approximately one hundred and seventy thousand um, dollars through the year for the full year. As I mentioned, we do have some savings. Um, for turnover and et cetera, for two, $215,000 included in, in that. Um, I've reduced the anticipated hold for the for the PPS assistant directors, um, reduced that by $133,000. Um, I do believe that we do have someone in the pipeline that we're concerned to, to hire. So there's gonna be some movements there. Also released the hold that we had for an on field academic um, assistant position at the high school. Um, that position is being covered um, by internal coverage or by, by their staff here. Well, we've, we've also um, made some adjustment for um, property services. As Mike mentioned, we're, we've engaged with Beta Group to do that work, the assessment. And that's going to be about $26,000. We spoke last meeting um, that we would be moving the EV charger from the capital budget to our operating budget. That's going to be twenty-three thousand dollars. We did have a, a TBD item in the in the FY twenty-four budget for light in for D and E wing. We've shifted that cost because you know and we're going to cover that from our operating budget. We have a placeholder of sixty-five thousand dollars um, to cover to cover that upgrade or replacement. We've also reduced the anticipated hold for repair allowance, which is which will help offset those costs. We've reduced that by sixty thousand dollars, so we have a net 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 negative in property services. 
So overall, we're pretty much flat month over month. Um, so we do, we currently have a surplus of about $500,000. I do want to talk about um, a thought or recommendation to reduce the surplus. Um, so during the budget discussion for FY23, we did um, establish a non-lapsing account to cover the final payment for early, final payment for the early retirement incentive program for approximately $140,000. And as you heard um, during the last recent meeting as well, the OPEP was, we had a plan for this year that the, the town's OPEP trust fund would be funding the retiree health insurance. I do want to recommend that we pay both of those costs, both the ERIP and, um, and the OPEP contributions for retiree from our current surplus. If we do, um, that, that's approximately $460,000 and that will reduce the surplus to, 43, to roughly $44,000. Um, the other item is gonna be um, internal services fund and that is trending as we anticipated it would be. So I guess I'll ask you a question. Come on. When we met yeah. last, we, I think it was 400, not Four hundred ninety thousand dollars, and that was before or after the purchases, right? Didn't we agree that we were going to pre-buy some books, right? We did. So, the four ninety is post-purchase or pre-purchase? So, am I doing my simple? So, that's post. So now you're now we have about four ninety to five, and then we did talk about a little bit of a lighting initiative, and you're pulling a little bit in because we can do the high school as a test bed, like a sustainability test bed. Correct. So that, that was, in, that was also included. So we're still at 490 or $500,000. So we, do we apply any funds to any more than the capital expense of changing light bulbs? So do we plan on bringing in someone to sort of initiate okay. an energy audit and things like that? Has that been approved? Yeah. Or? Right, see, all right, um, Peter. So we have six to five thousand. So we have to do it. We, I think we probably will do sort of kind of soft RFP or soft um, get some quotes in to see, um, you know, if the six to five thousand is going to be adequate to cover both the consultant and also for the for the for the work itself and the materials um, for for the lights. Even even if we do, um, if it comes in a little bit more, I think we do have enough money within the surplus aware right now to to cover that cost. We don't, we, it shouldn't be a big ticket item. So I think all in all, I think we're going to we're we're going to be at a good place. All right. So the the really what what you're proposing is a judicious use of four four thirty five because you said there were sixty five left out of five hundred thousand, and you had two proposals of how to utilize those funds uh, responsibly, right? I'm just repeating what you said, just so I get, just so I know where we stand for, because I have a next ask. Yeah. All right. So my my counter is that, uh, and part of the last bit of this, and for Monday night, is I I do have proposals from my uh, identify consultant for the EOC, and uh, part of that is applying funds now that could be utilized uh, in the short term, since we had a surplus to start the planning process with them. Um, so I, I didn't want to not include that because we may go down the path where there's nothing left in the surplus yet. The EOC may ask or now is asking for some funding. <laughs> so uh, I think the program, they, I mean, I was going to present the program, but uh, at a minimum, I think uh, it could be 50000 to $250,000 bookended for the maximum just to start the process. So now we have contending uses of the surplus, right? Your proposal and the needs of the EOC to move, move its its work forward. So I don't know how we mediate that. Um, is it just a, we, we pick and choose or do we, or do you want to have a full fledged discussion or do we sort of do a little bit of both? So you cover some of your fiduciary responsibilities, but the EOC gets a, a kickoff uh, in momentum. You, you following me? Well, let's see when I talk. Let's hear it, or we can talk about it right now. Let, um, 
what, what what's the um, you know if we if, if we do and I certainly believe we have hire professional consultant professional assistants they're taught you're talking a range of as much as a between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars that's that's the initial work I have a, a much fuller fleshed out proposal from that that I finished with them yesterday when I was on the plane back from San yeah. Diego. So it's an eight, I have an 18 month timeline proposal, but the first little bit starts now, right? And uh, before this morning's discussion and you know, the no fault of bills, I thought I had the potential to have some available funding, but it looks like bills pr proposed using that for other financial responsibilities. So I, I, don't, know how to, I don't know how to negotiate that. No, 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 no. I, I, let, let's you and I talk about that because the you know, the we, we you know we we're going to have to hire someone you know a, a professional help. and we should one we should bring before the committee and it'll it'll just be um you know part of this whole process of how we're going to redefine you know, campus and how we're going to redefine the delivery of education you know to the you know to the to the student community so um and I don't think we ever thought that we, you know, if we didn't have a surplus, luckily we do. I don't think we ever thought that it was going to be utilized for this. I mean, I think this is a standalone, important project that needs to be funded to be complete. Um, but I think from, well, I don't know how you feel, Melissa, but I think Bill, you know, has an immediate need um, that will offset future expenses operating expenses yeah um yeah I, I agree i think phil's proposal is sound um and i you know peter maybe i missed it but i'm not sure if there's been any kind of i'm just not sure what what your proposal is for uh, what kind of consultants this are these they are how do they differ from the consultants that have already been hired in the past um you know, I thought we were leaving things now with kind of an, an, an internal analysis of the educational specifications that that we're that we're looking at, and that we have the you know we have the physical plant and the, the space parameters provided to us already in the report from the the town committee. What what is yes, this? Peter, I've actually I had introduced this, which on the spot too much, but I did okay. say the initial presentation to the board and uh, administration. Maybe I right. So I set this up going now, I'm going to okay. do a larger yeah. presentation. And then during our uh, last uh, public general board of education meeting, I left going, this is forthcoming and this is the, and I'll have yeah, something. I heard that. Right. So this is, this, this isn't just something that came out of the blue today. I've been working on this. No, no, I knew it didn't come out of the blue today. I just hadn't, I hadn't, I, I don't recall seeing a presentation right, right. or a report on it. I knew we had thought about when, when the right time for you to present was. Right. I think we're at that point now. I think yes. it's time to present. So, so, I, so I did a preliminary email and then today was okay. for maybe a more longer presentation for Monday night, right? But I think Steve should okay. get eyeballs on this first to make sure that it's sound thinking. Yes. I certainly wouldn't just start on a Monday night without anyone else <laughs> giving its thumbs up, going, "This is acceptable stuff." But uh, okay, we we rightly brought up judicious use of the funds. I, I had to intervene. Now go hold it. I, I have a counter use of some of the funds, but I didn't want to go down the road of basically drying up the well uh, for judicious. No, I think that's right. I right. I just think from a process point, it should come to the board first to have a full understanding of that and then we can figure out the finance part as long as we have board approval for the general process and then it can come back to this committee to, to work out the nuts and bolts so i think you you may be one step ahead yeah, um, yeah maybe but, but i appreciate i, I didn't want us to go this sounds great i mean the sound use of yeah well exactly this is our our fiduciary responsibility to discuss this but i didn't want it to be a fait complete that oh we're doing this 
thanks for your information, Pete. You can, you know, we don't really have any plans to do this right now. Now I've done this legwork. That, no, I, I know, understand. I understand. Yeah. And, and, and just to, to go back to the two items that I proposed, we do need to have this discussion with, of course, as we normally do with the Board of Finance, um, just, just to get their okay with it, with it, so, so to speak. Um, so we'll definitely, um, once we have, I guess, a vote on our general consensus on this at the board meeting uh, next week, the next step is that's going to, at, a, at our, the next meeting with the Board of Finance, we'll discuss this and see what their, their, their take is. I think the caveat to, to, to this proposal is that if in, if in the upcoming months, if things should change, um, then, you know, we probably won't be able to do this plan if we need the money to, to cover other items. Um, but I think we just, I just wanted to put this out there now, um, just so we can start to, to think along this line. So if the committee is okay with this, I am going to revise the reports to reflect these two items, but we'll still have this discussion with the, the full board. And Peter, um, if we should need money um, to even kickstart your project, I think we should be able to hopefully find money to even kickstart a project um, through the remainder of the year. So I, I think we're in a good place. We probably won't be able to do $250,000, but I think even at the baseline price of 50,000, if, if it's an agreed on, we should be able to do that. Oh, that, that's great. This is all this is all good news, right? And this is, as I said, issued in usually yeah. responsible use of surplus. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm game right. for all that discussion. And we'll, of course, we'll work it out as part of the process. I just wanted to, I guess I preempted my own discussion for later. I just wanted to jump in and say it has to be among the considerations, right? But we'll, it's what the board does. We'll work through it. Okay. Um, one of the items that's not directly related to, to, to disrupt to the financial, um, but sort of kind of is. So I think there's a, we're seeing, so it is a possibility that we may have higher hiring costs for unaffiliated staff. Um, so I just wanted to try to kind of flag like this to the board. Um, as you know, um, Terry, our HR director recently left and um, just, just softly we're, we're seeing that it's, it may cost us more money um, for further replacement. Lisa will have further discussions about this. Um, so I just wanted to flag it and ultimately um, it won't impact us for this year, but it, the impact that we will see will be for fiscal 24. And I do believe that is it for the financial update for the month. Okay. Um. The next committee meeting date is there? Yeah. So, it, it based on the calendar, it's looking like we won't be able to have a meeting in April. April seventh is Good Friday, and the district will be closed on Good Friday, and the following week the district is closed for spring break, and the board meeting is going to be on the following Tuesday on the eighteenth, I believe. Um, so, as it's looking right now, our next meeting will be in um, in May. Okay. Um, uh, however, I, I, we may need to touch base maybe as a group or just with the full board, um, if, you know, just to talk about any possible budget adjustments for fiscal 24. Uh, post the town meeting. Correct. Yeah. Or, or pre, pre, I mean, pre or post, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll talk somewhere about it to see ultimately when we want to to me to talk about all those changes. Do you want to pencil in some time? I mean, we could try and do maybe the Thursday before Good Friday. Yeah. Well, I, I think this, I think whatever it is that we're doing, it probably will need to be March um, before the before the Board of Finance okay. um, before the, the vote. When is that scheduled? April third. I mean March thirtieth. Okay. Okay. Um, but we'll we'll have I'll have all the discussions um, with 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 Lisa and with um with yeah I mean we can try and pull it together um, on yeah, short yeah, notice okay. yeah that's fine okay. yeah. just just for completing this what what Friday in May is that is that May twelfth I think is that a Friday 
just so I can, I got to look at calendar on my phone. I do think it's May 12th. Yeah. Okay. Now we are next week. Let's just get to May. Yeah, that is our next meeting, May 12th. I have that. Okay. Is there a business? Okay. Yes. Moving to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Okay. Thank you. See you Monday night. Second, Peter. I second it, and I owe you uh, a presentation, so you have to review it. You okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good weekend, Thank everyone. Bye. Thank you. Good weekend. Thank you, Thank you guys. Okay.